Saturday mornings can be a great time to take in Gainesville's natural beauty, especially at Split Rock Conservation Area, located on Southwest 20th Avenue. My name is Jeff Parks. If you need anything over the course of the walk, you can say, hey, Jeff, and there's probably only two or three other Jeffs on the walk today, so chances are you'll get me eventually. But um, I've been handing around some maps. If you don't have one for your very own, I apologize, but this gray shape that's on the map is the Split Rock Conservation Area. You'll see the dotted line has a trail. Um, the dotted line is the trail. That's uh, the, the trail through the park. We came in here out here at Southwest 20th, you all walked up this way, and we're about here, up in this little corner. At Split Rock, we have about two miles of trail, and as you walk along the trail, you see quite a variety of different habitats. So it's kind of an ever-changing experience to hike the trails here. The city acquired Split Rock in 1995. It was acquired as part of the Hogtown Creek Greenway project, and so the city received grants from the state, uh, the Florida Communities Trust, and the city matched that with funds from the city's budget to purchase the property. Protecting properties along Hogtown Creek serves a variety of different functions. Um, one is that it protects the water quality um, because as, as many people may know, uh, our drinking water here in North Central Florida comes from the groundwater. Hogtown Creek is what's known as a stream to sink system, which means that the end of the creek, it doesn't flow into the ocean or the Gulf of Mexico, it actually flows directly into a sinkhole and into the Florida aquifer, which is our uh, source of drinking water. Well, it's really uh, amazing to see something this pretty right in the center of Gainesville. This creek is beautiful and uh, Split Rock is a really neat feature, a geologic feature, and uh, it's just really neat. It's really great that we can conserve most of, or a lot of the floodplain for the creek. The gentleman who owned the coppers plant in the 1960s had a big lagoon full of um, <clears throat> toxic material that he one day just bulldozed down the wall of and it drained directly into Hogtown Creek. Um, before that, there were a lot more fish and a lot more diversity of fish in the creek and after that, um, it dropped substantially. But you can see it's still really beautiful. Well, Split Rock is actually connected to a lot of other conservation areas owned by the city and by the county, and so there's a possibility of seeing a variety of different wildlife here. Um, there are probably bobcats on the property. There are deer. Uh, we've seen raccoons. There are barred owls, hawks, and there's a wide variety of songbirds and uh, lizards and other reptiles and amphibians. So there's really quite a lot you could hope to see out here. So some of these trees back in this way are longleaf pines. You see they have extremely long needles. And um, that's one adaptation to fire because when they kind of fall on the ground, you can see even here where there's not much grass, they still kind of sit up off the ground. This is a real natural fuel bed that it forms, especially when you have grasses and herbs that are growing in that ground level. So you have a nice uh, bed of dry fuels that would burn pretty much about every two to five years, uh, just due to the fact that we don't have a lot of natural fire breaks and a lot, we don't have a lot of topography that would stop a fire and we have a lot of lightning. This is a dis somewhat disturbed area. It probably was cleared for agriculture as far back as 1937, which is the earliest er historical aerial photo that we have, and before that. So um, there's very little remnant vegetation. We do have some of these nice uh, live oaks, but other than that, you'll see it's fairly low diversity, a lot of laurel oaks predominantly, which is a, a fast-growing uh, colonizer of disturbed areas. Then we brought the tour down to Split Rock, which gives the park its name. Uh, Split Rock is a large limestone outcropping at the edge of Hogtown Prairie, and it's an interesting place to talk both about the natural history of the site, but also the human history of the site. Now we'll go and take a look at where the split in the rock can be seen. Now this is as close as we get to the actual Split Rock because of a lot of these plants that are growing on the rock. We have uh, some liverworts and a diversity of ferns that grow here. Um, they're adapted to growing on the rock in, in shady spots like this. There are very few places like this remaining, and so where we have them, we want to try to protect them. So any kind of traffic or trampling is um, really likely to damage these plants so that people won't be able to see them in the future. We're actually standing down in what used to be a swimming hole. 
a concrete wall was built around it probably in the 1920s by a gentleman with, by the name of Chestnut who had a homestead here. And uh, it was apparently a popular swimming hole for some time, but now as you can see, it's dry. Well, I saw it in the uh, Audubon uh, newsletter, and it looked like a park I hadn't visited in Gainesville, so I was interested in seeing it, finding out about it. It was in the Gainesville Sun, and uh, I'd never heard of Spit Rock Park, and I wanted to find out where it is, so I made a point to be here today. If you've got any questions, um, I'd be happy to hear from any of you. Uh, feel free to contact me if you need a business card. It's so nice to have a guide that has so much knowledge to share. It's so much better than doing it all by yourself. Get that information. This is my first time doing it, and it was very educational, not just for the uh, nature, but also for meeting people who are kind of like-minded in the way I think. Yeah. It's so, so fascinating that all of this is right in Gainesville. You know all of about the ecology and the water draining and the sinkholes and the Hogtown Creek that you hear about in the paper, and it all makes sense when you come to what they're saying. We uh, look forward to seeing some of you all in the future, and uh, we've got a lot of other parks that are fairly well-kept secrets, and um, I, I hope you all get the opportunity to visit this one again and visit some of those other ones as well.